Hey guys, Cat JBL here. We're gonna be doing we're gonna be unboxing some street lights that I have ordered. One is a 50 watt high pressure sodium and one is a hundred watt high pressure sodium. These are called Cobra Heads and they are by Cooper. So pretty much yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, this one we're gonna open the hundred watt one. Some bags, some papers. Oh wow. Take it out of the box. Put the box to the side. There it is. This is a hundred watt high pressure sodium fixture. Alright, let's go ahead and move these formal wraps and stuff. Some tape on it. Even on the bottom. Alright, there it is. Okay, now let's let's go ahead and open it up. Can I just remove this and take this off? Hold on. Yep, we can't take this off. Alright, there it is. As you can see, I'm gonna get it a little closer so you can guys see what's in here. There it is. Alright, here's our instruction manuals. As you can see, and here's our ball. Oh wow! Is that it? Is that an MOG uh, light bulb? Oh, I didn't know that. It's an MOG version. This is called a marble base. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yep. Wow, that's pretty big. I haven't seen an MOG light bulb before. That's pretty cool. And we have the photo cell right here. Oh, I've never seen a green photo cell in my life too. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up. How do I open this? Photo cell. I've never seen this before, bro. That's pretty cool. This is by FP, F Block, SunTech, Random, something I just said. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. There's like a little LED in here. I'm assuming that this one is an is a electronic. Is an electronic ballast? I mean, no, not an electronic ballast. I'm messing up. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm assuming this is a electronic photo cell. So yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bulb in. I've never seen these before, they, but these are pretty cool. So on, let me just put it back into the MOG, the MOG base. My hands are literally slippery, so. There we go. Alright, let's see the inside of it. Mm. Oh, okay. We have a tiny ballast in here. Look at this. We have a little tiny ballast in here. Okay, that's cool. We have a little reed. What's this right here? Oh, this is actually our connector. Here's our... Igniter. Oh, I never seen an igniter like that. It's pretty cool. And here's our melting bracket that will help us to our core. Yeah, there's our ground. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put the we're actually gonna power this up in just a second. We have to unbox one more. So I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this um 
refractor, I mean, no, not the refractor. We're going to put the refractor back and plate the reflector. Just like this. These are pretty cool. I never need, I've never seen these fixtures before. It's my first time seeing this fixture in my whole life. There we go. Nice. This is a nice high pressure sodium fixture. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and just fix my camera again. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there we go. This one is actually unboxed. Here's our number 10 and then our HPS label on it. And on the back, we have to attach our photo cell. Maybe like this. We have to make sure it faces the board. <laughs> yeah, there it is. How do I attach the photo cell? Like this? Oh, this is actually a lock fixture. Yeah, this actually is in an, in an inner lock. There it is, locked. Alright, now I'm going to put this by the side. So we're going to block another one. This one is more, more, most like, oh my gosh. This one right here, this is like, most likely a 50 watt high pressure sodium because it says on the label, so. Alright, let's get started. careful not to uh, put the blades too far or else you're going to scratch something in here. Just do it like what I'm doing gently. There it is. Here are some little papers in here for shipping. That's pretty cool. Here's the 50 watt high pressure sodium. Yeah, I thought I ordered like a, another 100 watt, but this one right here is 50. But that's okay. Let's do the same thing like we unwrapped earlier to the 100 watt one on the back of it. They look brand new. I love how it looks like it's brand new. Okay, our refractor. it on but I have to take it off because I don't want it to hit my tripod. So all right there we go. Okay let's see. Same thing. I'm assuming this is a Sylvania LU50 MG. That's cool. But why everything on a MLG MLG something like that. Like a how do you call it? I'm not sure why it's on a Mongol uh, base on it and here's our 50 watt uh, ballast for here. The another green photo cell. That's cool. Oh, just came right out. Yep, same thing. Green photo cell. I'm gonna go ahead there now. Is flip it over. Attach the photo cell. Like we did the same thing to the hundred block. There we go. All right, now the bulb is actually pretty a little smaller, so I can't take out the bulb. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to wire this up and then power it up. All right. Let's go and open it up again.
Okay, here's the thing. I'm here's the uh, the wire I'm gonna be using. It's not really good because it's like stripped very shortly and it doesn't have a cut in the end, so that's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire this up, both of them, and we'll be all good to go. I'm looking for like one more wire so we can connect. Okay, here's two wires. There it is. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to put the refractors by the side. All right, now it's time to do time to wire it up. We're gonna run the wires inside, and we're going to connect the the hot and the neutral. So I'm gonna. Go ahead and just put down with this. There we go. Just like that. Alright. You can see our little wiring sticker that says Caution 120 volt AC. We were just gonna go ahead and screw in the wire. Just like this. Just like that, there it goes, nice and tight. And now do the same thing to the neutral. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing to the hundred one. Now what we could do is we could put the sticker back on if we wanted to. That's just a way that we could cover like this, but I don't really recommend doing that. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna do another one now. To this one, we're going to do the same thing as this one, but this one's actually a little stripped, so same thing to this one. There we go. Make sure the wirings are correct. Sorry if I'm blocking my head on it. Um, I can't really see how I'm wiring things, so yeah. All right, let me go get my screwdriver to screw it in place if you guys can see, that's good. Yep. It's a wire in the way, I can't even cave and see the heck Now to the neutral. Let's see if you guys can see. Yep. See, two of them have been wired correctly. 
Now as you can see how I did that. We don't need to do all of that. You can just leave it like that if you want. And yeah, don't forget to remove these kind of stuff. I don't know what these are. What these are is. I don't know what the heck is that. Maybe for protection. Maybe I don't know what these are for. I'll just keep it. You know, it's a better it's a better idea to keep it. I don't know. Could you could you remove or something? I'm not sure. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put the the reflector and everything back in. I'm in the way. I have to move my camera right here so I can just put the refractor back in place. This one we're going to do the 100 watt. This is our 100 watt one right here. Which one's our 100 watt? I'm pretty, this is our 50 and this is our 100. So this one's actually our 100 watt. This is actually a check. doing that for some reason so all right now it's time for the 50 watt hold on it's an LU50 is that LU50 or that's an LU100 yeah again I can't really see I'm sorry guys if I'm going to go too close there we go it's nice and Nice and clamped in. There we go. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're going to you know plug it in and see it to start up. We're gonna plug this in into an extension cord because I don't have the outlet right there by the front of me. So yeah. Let me go get an extension cord real fast and a power strip. Okay, here's the extension cord and the power strip. We're just going to plug it in like this to both sides. Oh, what the heck? That's weird. It doesn't want to go in. So you have to plug it in hard. Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. We're going to leave the power strip on. Plug it into our adapter. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the middle right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is actually going to, like, um, going to turn off the photo cell because it's like all of this I have a window on the hold on so as you can see the photo cells on the bottom I have a window right over here and I have a window over there the refractor I mean no the reflector of the mirror so yeah so I have to cover up the photo cell so it can't just think like it's daytime right now just shut itself off all right I'm just gonna do okay I think it's I think it's okay I don't know because it's like blocking the 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 whole shell is blocking the photo cell so I'm pretty sure that that's okay because it's not going to sh like shut off the photo cell from thinking of it's daytime it's like nighttime right now like photo cell is going to take like right now it's nighttime so yeah all right now it's time to do time to plug it in all right guys here we go are you guys ready three two one And there we go. 
Okay, I'm gonna go do it now, so I'm gonna clean up and then just wait for these to warm up and then we'll be all good to go. Oh wow, the 100 watts actually getting a little glow. Okay, as you can see, look at the 50 watt, it's like less bright, and the 100 watts like more brighter. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty bright. Also, what I'm sure, actually, actually, you can put a mercury vapor, but I recommend not doing that because mercury vapor would not help the igniter to start in here. So, as you can see, I'm gonna wait for like maybe five minutes or something. Wow, it's getting pretty bright in here, so. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a little picture right here. So guys, let me do this. I'm gonna do like a little picture. Let me go ahead and do now. I'm gonna move the boxes out of the way. No. It's not really warm yet, so yeah. It's pretty bright. Still have mess going around. It's so funny. Okay, now it's on full brightness. Wow, that is bright. And as you can see, hold on, let me take off my. Let me take off my phone so as you get the guys can see. Put this. My phone's like pretty warm too because I started this like 22 minutes ago. As you can see, the refractor. Oh, it's warming up. The 10. It's 100 watt. Here's the 50 watt. Right here. And the mirror is actually reflecting it too. Pretty bright. And as you can see, look at the, the ceiling. Wow. As you can see. So I also have another one uh, I'm revving by tomorrow. The one is a G GM General Electric GEM 250 and 250A2. So it's 150 watts. This one just 150 watts. So yeah, 100, 100 watts and 50 watts. So that's all I have. All right, I'm going to do is I'm going to open the... Open the... Open the assembly real fast. As you can see, there's our bulb. It's pretty bright. They're gonna put all the heat out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back on. The photo cell's right there. 
let me see if I actually post it. Yeah, the photo cell's on the other side, so. I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close this up. There we go. And here's the 50 watt one. Wow, that's less bright. This one is like very bright. And this one's like less. 50 watts. Okay. Close this one too. There we go. It's, that's super bright. I can't really see, but now it's like a little like something like silver now. As you can see, my eyes are like. Look at my eyes, guys. I don't know what it's up to. But I can like literally see like something like silver. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Cooper OVZ 100S and a 50 watt, 50 watt, which is a 50S OVZ 50S high pressure sodium. Yeah, the refractor is actually getting a little hot. This one has a lot of hums, and this one has the same thing, but not really, because this one's doing way too many hum, and this one's doing the less hum. So. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Like and subscribe. Comment what's your favorite thing. This is actually one of my favorites. Stay tuned for tomorrow.